So just a bit, little bit's daughter. Had a lamb last night. So that's and this one is uh she had twins and one was dead. So looking good. Nothing else happening. Shed full of sheep. But she's looking after her lamb very well. Who's sneezing? You're a good mama, aren't you? Just a bit. Look at that beautiful stretch. <gasps> that means that she fed well. Ooh, and that shake. That's all good signs you want to see in a lamb the morning after they're born. Finding her own way to suckle because she's not premature. Oops. It's me standing here, which is making her nervous. Just a bit nervous. Just a bit nervous. There we go. Look at that. Wiggle waggle. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, look. There's no white tip of the tail. Or maybe there is and I can't see it. Anyway. Horses and sheep. Looks like I don't have to do any nursery duty this morning. I think. Curled up together. Good thing too. I'm gonna turn the light off. Because it's dawn outside. Look, it's nursing on its own. Yay! Well, looks like it is. <laughs> well, just a bit. Turned out now into the garden paddock, which is beautiful. The cherry blossoms are all over there. Plum blossoms are all over here. And she's got lots of lovely grass to eat. And the shed over there to get out of the rain. Good girl. Very alert mama. And look, just a bit's lamb doesn't have a white tip to the tail. So she could be called minor bit, macro bit, micro bit, mini bit. She's got all the correct markings except for no tip to the tail. You can see. Sweet little yo lamb. And sadly, her twin died. Inca, you have to be careful. You'll get throttled.
She's watching her. My evening check on the yeo and lamb up here. I've got a few nuts. Oh, I've spotted her under the trees up at the top. Somebody's built a nest up there. You can see in the top of that tree. So. Hey, sweetie. How's just a bit? Where's your lamb? Is she lying there having a snooze? Ah, Java. No. Wait. Oh, look, you can just see the head. Java. Look at that. There we go. A happy lamb. Hey, sweetie pie. I have some nuts for you. Your lamb is looking fabulous. There you go. Totally not sure, because I've got three dogs. Come on, Java, come on, leave it. And she turned away from the bucket because she's worried about her lamb. If I go, maybe with my three dogs, hopefully she'll go back to the bucket. I don't want the food to be wasted. Okay, you guys have to stay there. Java, no, stay. Ah, uh ah, -uh. stay, stay. Yes, no begging, you have to stay there. Nope. Oh, it sounds like she's found the, look at you begging, no. She's found the bucket. You are such a beggar. You are such a beggar. I didn't teach him how to do that little beggy thing. He does it naturally. You didn't teach him how to do that either, did you? Come on, girls. Come on. Woo! Come on, girls. A little bit just standing there. All in her own good time. Come on, girls! Out of girls, come on! 
Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Atta girl. How are you, Ear Feather? You good girl. Uh, I turn them out and they're sound. Look at you. It's this wet weather. It just makes things chronic. Ugh, so infuriating. Kestrel, you're really impatient, aren't you? You have to let me get out. Yeah, you have to let me get out. Oh. The horse is curious about the food she can't eat. Um, you too. Inca, Java, come on, leave them be. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Inca, leave it. Come on. Come on. Job done, evening done. We can go inside now. Yeah, we've checked on everybody. I just have to say, I love this little corner I've created. Hey, kitty. These tulips are magnificent with their little uh, yellow trim. And then that, that's a winter flowering clematis with that hellebore. But then this, I love the uh, red tulips with the orange pansies. And in the bed with this hydrangea, I just, I can't, I don't want to trim them because I think they'd look so lovely together, the contrast. Then this is just pansies. I should have put tulips in there. But then this combination, I love. These are King's Blood uh, uh, tulips. But then there's Jack Frost and this other, this is Jack Frost here. But this, look at the different, this is Jack Frost flower, it's small blue. And then this one, these are shade loving. And then some hookera. So the combination of that is just heavenly. This is a shade dwelling. Look at that, so delicate. Um, that's this plant, it's young leaves. So I'm gonna transplant this out into a sheltered location. But the tulips shouldn't be there. So you could say that's kind of a Chelsea flower show moment because tulips need sunshine, but these are planted in a pot, so. But the blue pansies on the one side, and then these, I just, sometimes it's like, wow, I created some magic, and I don't even know how I managed to do it, but it works, and it's just, uh, just look at that, the blues and the reds and the different contrasting foliage. Sorry I'm going on about it. I apologize for those of you who aren't gardeners, but sometimes one has to be very pleased with how things turned out sheer fluke the planning was not there it was sheer fluke that this worked like this <laughs>